313. God hath redeemed us. Read. The, start over. Christ has redeemed us uh -huh. from the curse of the law. Number one, part of the inheritance is redemption. Somebody say redemption. redemption. In other words, I have been brought back. Yes. I've been brought back from the devil. Before I got saved, I was a child of the devil. I was right. in his family. I was right. on my way to hell. I don't care how good you was, you was on your way to hell. Right. But now, by faith in the blood of Jesus Christ, he has redeemed me. He brought me out of the family of darkness, out of sin and Satan. And now I am no longer under the curse. Y'all might not believe that curses are real, but curses are real. Number one, the main curse we were under was the curse of sin and death. Death was on us. But when you get born again, what is the profit of the birthright? I'm born again. I have life now. I don't get it when I die and go to heaven. I got it right now. I got it the moment I believe there was a change that took place. God imparted life in your spirit. Somebody say Zoe. In other words, I got the God kind of life. I have joy. I have peace. I, oh, God, come on. Read. Christ has redeemed us. Mm -hmm. Being made a curse for us. He was made a curse for us. So because he was made a curse for us, he took on the curse that was on us. And now we are no longer on, under a curse. Now the blessing of God can come on us. Read. For it is written, uh -huh. Cursed is everyone that hangeth on a tree. Jesus was made a curse. He hung on the cross. He hung on the tree uh -huh. to become a curse for us. The curse that we were, he became. And that's what propitiation, somebody say propitiation. propitiation. That means he transferred what was to us. Now, it's, now the blessing of him is on us. Tell somebody I'm blessed. In other words, I'm better than blessed. Read, read. That the blessing of Abraham. Come on, somebody say the blessing of Abraham. See, we were, and, 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 and we as Gentiles weren't even in the family. We weren't even in the family of God. The Bible say you were Gentiles, dead in trespasses and sin. We were wicked. If you look up some history, look up the history of the Gentiles, they were wicked. They worshiped idols, they burned their children in the fire, they worshiped folly, all kind of sexual gods. They were in every ungodly thing, and God turned his back on them. And that's why he chose Israel to be a holy people, to be a witness to the world, to show them what was right, to be a light to the world. That's why he gave Israel some standards. That's why you ought not be ashamed of being saved. You ought to be glad about being saved. You ought not worry about trying to be like the world and be like everybody else. You got something that the world is looking for. You got Jesus on the inside. You got a right. You got life. Don't try to try to be, I got to be just like the world. I got to be like everybody. No, I am somebody because God don't make no joke. You got to know I'm special. I got an inheritance. I got the spirit of God down on the inside. I'm going to start to feel this thing. Read. That the blessing of Abraham might come on the Gentiles. That the blessing of Abraham might. See, we were under a curse. Notice if you want to find out what the curse was, read Deuteronomy. He said, I'm going to curse you in your market basket. I'm going to bring disease on you. I'm going to make it. it. I'm gonna, when you come in, you're going to be cursed. When you go out, you're going to be cursed. You're going to be, amen, depressed. Depression is a part of the curse. Amen, a miscarrying wound was a part of the curse. All sickness and disease was a part of the curse. He said out that your life would be uh, full of misery. That was a part of the curse. But he told Abraham, I'm going to bless you and everybody that's hooked up to you. He said, Abraham, you shall be a father of many nations. And everybody that's in your family, all the blessings of Abraham shall come on you. Oh, God. See, so you got to qualify for the blessing. And what qualifies you is when you get hooked up with Jesus. When you get hooked up with Jesus, you're part of the birthright. I'm in the family now. Somebody ought to be glad about being in the family. We're living in a day and time where there's some gold diggers out there. They're looking for somebody that got some money. Come on up here. And there's women, amen, they follow basketball players and all kind of stars because they want to get a hopes of, of marrying one of them. So they can get in a family that got some money. Come on. There's some brothers out there the same way. They're looking for some sisters. But how many of you know we're not gold digging, but we didn't hit it rich. Because we hooked up to Jesus. And when you hooked up to Jesus, everything that he owns, everything that he has, you become an heir to. You have a right to. Jesus, Lord, I thank you. You got access to heaven now. You can say that when I leave here, I'm not worried about leaving. Don't get me wrong, I don't want to leave yet. Be 
that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. Now, number one, not only that, but now we receive the Spirit. What is the Spirit? The Holy Ghost is the is the uh, uh, a manifestation of God. Amen. The Holy Ghost comes to live on the inside of you. But not only that, but he 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 engrafts you in the family of God. He makes you a child of God. He gives you, he opens up the door for the gifts of the Spirit. Nine gifts, word of wisdom, word of knowledge. You, you become an heir. You can receive those gifts. Somebody shout hallelujah. The Holy Ghost becomes your helper. Because you're on your way to heaven, but you go through some hell down here. But you got some help. He don't leave you by yourself. But when you're going through, the Holy Ghost tells you you can make it. The Holy Ghost tells you keep on doing what's right. The Holy Ghost will help you praise God. You think you praise God now, but when the Holy Ghost gets in it, you can't help but praise Him. There's something on the inside, working on the outside. Bring about a change in your life. And the Holy Ghost comes. He is the paraclete. He sees when you're down there. He sees when you're going through. He's the reinforcement. He's the help. He's the paratrooper that helps take us through this war. He gives us the victory. You're sanctified. 